Hi guys, welcome back once again. And again, I'm going to be talking about something that I think will absolutely blow your mind. And a lot of people aren't actually aware that this product is a thing. And many people use kind of other ways to clean the tires. Now, again, we're going to be talking about tire cleaning. Usually, what people recommend you is use APCs, use degreasers. Now, degreasers, yes, they can work, but degreasers aren't a dedicated product. Yes, they degrease from a tire dressing, but degreasers on rubbers don't work particularly well because, again, it can dry or potentially dry the rubbers out over a prolonged period of time, especially in warm weather like this. Dry rubber means cracked rubber, and when you're talking about tires, don't forget this is the only place or the only thing that is keeping you on the road. Now, APCs, again, not a dedicated thing, and I've used many an APC. Um, I've tested all the big ones, all the famous ones, all the super strong ones. Again, the super strong ones tend to pull out the natural oils from the rubbers. Again, big no-no in my opinion, and the cheaper APCs, I don't need to go there because, again, again, they're cheap. So, we almost gave up with this. Again, I'm talking about you undress. Human Dress, um, it was planned for many years. It, it took us so many variations. In fact, this product is the longest that we had in development because it just kept throwing us issues, throwing us kind of engine management lights, let's say. And once we cracked one thing, another thing failed because it was you know, too strong or too overpowering. When we dial it back, Again, it wasn't good enough and another thing popped up. So at one point we almost gave up and we thought, it's just not gonna work. How are we gonna do this? Now, eventually we cracked it. We just got it in. We put in just the right amount of raw materials to where the formula was stable enough. Now, as a result, what do you get? Now, Human Dress is a dedicated tine rubber cleaner. So if you've got your trims around the car, that can do, if you've got rubber trims around your windows and stuff like that that can also do engine bays unbelievable on engine bays um, and again tires what you will find with this product because it's a dedicated product even as you're going to see in a second as soon as you pull the trigger for the first time and you see just the way the product atomizes out of the trigger now again this is see this is just a normal premium Italian trigger so it's not a foaming trigger or any wizardry like that this is just a standard trigger that atomizes liquid and it doesn't foam it now like I was saying as soon as you pull the trigger on this and you start hitting it you will see that this is a different product completely in its class that I don't think is going to be rival for a very long time again by the time it starts to get to a point where you know technology is moving this will go to v2 v3 etc so what this does is by the name we've got a product called new dress this is undress this is removes the dressing this goes deeply into the rubbers and if your tire is unprepared as soon as you spray it in it'll start to bleed brown so you know like with the wheel cleaner video it bleeds purple this will start to bleed brown now this is going deep into the pores and just removing and etching out all of the product and what you will just get is an unbelievable experience. So, so the, the purpose of this product is tire dressings will not stick to an already semi-slick surface, which again, which has been protected by previous dressing or a super dirty surface. So it's exactly the same thing. I'm gonna give you an analogy. You would not go and run a marathon, let's say, come back in dripping with sweat, moisturize yourself. So now have a shower, you're gonna put moisturizer all over your dirty body and then put a very nice expensive t-shirt on. That never happens. You go into the shower, you kind of degrease yourself, you clean yourself, and then you start layering up the protection after you get out the shower. Same thing with this. As always, I recommend shake the products, activate the formula, make sure all the raw materials are moving. And again, we're gonna rinse the tire down just to see if there's anything loose that we can remove. As much as you can. So again, the tire, is protected, but I'm gonna bring you closer in and just show you how this atomizes out the trigger. Now again, this trigger has already been pre-primed, so we're just gonna open it up, get the spray pattern that we want. There we go. Look, it's just coming out super thick. And the most important thing, it's 
clinging and that's exactly what you want. Now again with this tire, it has been protected, cleaned around three, four days ago. So it's still just now starting to pick up a little bit of brown, but not as much as you would get on a completely say naked tire or completely battered tire. Now the reason behind this is, we clean the tire so often, we protect it so often. So again, same thing with car paint protection is this is the reason why you dress your tires. It's not for aesthetic reasons. It's for the repulsion of dirt. It is for the longevity of the tire. So when you've got a perfectly protected tire, perfectly clean tire, the next time you do your subsequent washes, what this is going to do is you're going to require less product and also you're going to actually require less agitation. Now you will need a simple tool. This is our Yumcar's brush. It's just the right bristle consistency. Like I say on the website, it is stiff, but it's not overly stiff for some brushes. You've actually got a tendency of, of a little bit of splashback. So what I like to do as well, because tires are really bad, I just like to pre-prime the brush. And what you then do is you start agitating, right? Now the whole purpose of the agitation is you're actually opening up more of the pores. And this basically allows the product and the bristle consistency of the brush to get deep into the tire. Now what I'm gonna do real quick, again, as you can see, I haven't rinsed this off. This is gonna be another white piece of the towel. And I'm gonna show you just after the rinse exactly the potency of this product. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna rub this on the tire like this, lightly, and let's see if it's pulled it off. Absolutely not. So basically, see, it's still a perfectly white towel. Now, this tire now is ready for your protection phase and that's whichever product of your choice again now it's going to adhere properly the main reason tire dressings and kind of treatments sling most of the time is because the prep is not there so now that you've prepped the tire you're ready to go now i'm going to throw a curveball you're going to say to me nick i've just bought a car it's had that horrible dealership paint applied um tire dressing on, I can't strip it, what happens? If that happens, and if you've got a car that's been to, say, a hand car wash, or it's come back with that horrible dealership dressing on, all you have to do is, again, you've cleaned the tire, you're gonna see a lot of brown at this point coming off. I always recommend doing a check, like if you're not sure on your tire, I never do a check scrub on my tires because, again, I maintain it, I know exactly what state the tires are in. But if you're not sure, literally, Go back around the tire like this. Let it do its business. And basically, as if you were cleaning the tire again, you just pre-prime the brush and you do a check scrub, right? Now, obviously, in my case, as you can see, it's perfectly white foam. Again, it's perfect, right? The tire's clean, it's not pulling anymore. I'm just literally agitating the product in again to get the tire obviously forming up white. Now, in your case, you might have to do the step two, three, four times, however many times it requires you to do this. Now, on your subsequent wash, so let's say next week, when you go and kind of clean the tire, what you have to do is what I've just done in phase number one. Clean the tire once, it's already been prepped by you on the previous weeks, and you're good to go. Again, just do the check scrub. If you're not sure what condition the tire's in, if the tire's still pulling brown, do it again and again, up until you get a white foam. You know the tire's clean. It's not killing any grease or dirt or any of the horrible dressings that you may find um, out there in hand car washers and dealerships. Um, and that way you will know that your tire, once you've rinsed it, dried it and completed everything, that you can safely and with ease apply a dressing that will then adhere properly, not sling, and the tire will actually look fresher, newer. It's an unbelievable product, product with capabilities. Like I said, any exterior plastic, any exterior rubber trims, engine bays, this product is safe for. Now you've seen how this lands onto the tire. Now tell me, most liquids, um, 
the cleaners, they'll hit, especially on a wet tire because there's already water on there, they will hit, they will run off and most of the product is at the bottom six o'clock position of the wheel, whereas this, it just sticks. I mean, look, even here, it's still hanging around on the tire, even I've agitated it. And yeah, guys, this was one of our newer products. It took us the longest time to develop again. You know the story why, and it has gone down an absolute storm with people because when you compare this to anything else, it's, I think we've created an absolute monster of a product. And yeah, it's one of these products that I call combustible product. You have to use it pretty much every wash. So same as the wheel cleaner, same as the time rubber cleaner. It, you have to use it to get the best results of your ancillary products, so the protective and the, and the pretty products, as I call them. You have to use this. Um, but again, it's very economical. You only need literally a handful of sprays per tire. If your tire, again, like this Michelin tire is very well protected, you actually need to do less sprays, less scrubs, and eventually the process gets quicker and easier and more cost effective. And yeah, it's, I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys, as always. And I've had really good feedback from my first video. And I think I'm on to a good little series here. So yeah, hope you keep enjoying the video series, guys. And I'm going to go into more and more depth of the products. Thank you. And I'll see you on the next one, guys. Cheers. Have a good day.